In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a flashing title like this and also turn it into a video in text flashing title, something like this. So to begin, I'm just going to work on a new sequence, whatever size that you're working with. And first, I'm going to grab my type tool and type out whatever I want. So I'll type out title text and then I can highlight this and go to the essential graphics panel on the right hand side and you'll see this title text. Here you can choose everything about it, like the size, the center alignment, and the font. This one that I'm using is called Akira. I downloaded it on a free font website. And I'm just going to scale it down to size. If you don't see any of these windows, you can go to Window and turn on any of these, such as the Essential Graphics panel. Now, I don't just want to have this text layer because I also want a solid background. Right now, it may appear as though we have a black background, but if I actually hit this little settings wrench and scroll down and show the transparency grid, it's actually not a solid background. It's just the text, which can be useful in a lot of cases, like if you want to put a video track underneath. But in this case, I actually want a black background. So to do that in my essential graphics panel on this graphic layer that we created, I'm also going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle across the whole screen. So if you don't quite get the edges, that's fine. You can just increase the scale of it, just like we did the text, till it fills up the whole thing. And you can play around with colors, actually, but because we're going to use this as a sort of mat or mask, I'm going to make it black. Now we just want to rearrange the order of these layers. So just drag the shape layer under the text layer. And now we actually have our white text on the black background. The next thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this graphic that we just created. So a shortcut to do that is just hold option, click and drag that layer down or up onto a different video track. So now I have two copies of the same layer. And on the top one, I'm going to go to effects and search for one called invert. That'll be in the channel video effects folder. So now we have the opposite. And I just want to sort of blink back and forth between these two. So in order to do that, I'll also just find the strobe effect. And this is a fun technique that you can really use when you want to make any layer blink. And uh, uh, there's a lot of advanced sort of tricks you can do with it. You could check out some of my other videos for ideas on that. But on this layer that we just applied the strobe light to, we're going to go to the effect controls panel on the right hand side. And again, if you don't see anything, just go to window and you can open those panels that you don't see. Sometimes they're tucked over on the side. You might have to hit this drop down menu. and I'm going to scroll down until I see the strobe light, or up in this case, and I'm going to change a few things. So instead of operates on color, I'm going to make layer transparent. So this is going to make this layer transparent for half a second every one second. And because we have the invert effect on this layer, we're essentially going to blink back and forth half a second this color, half a second the inverted color. Now a cool little trick I did to make it go sort of fast to slow is add some keyframes. So I add, I'll add a keyframe on the strobe duration and strobe period. And at the beginning of the clip, we can start at something quite fast, like 0.1 every 0.2. And towards the end of the clip, we can slow down dramatically, like 1 and 2. So if I press play on that, it starts out pretty fast. Actually, maybe I got too dramatic there. Let's just go. 0.51. So if we press play, it starts out faster and it slowly winds down, almost like a, a um, spinning machine that's slowly losing velocity. But all these little details aside, we basically have created our main thing that we want to use. And I'm going to highlight both of these layers. Now remember, by default, it's five seconds long, but uh, you can always click and stretch them out to however much length you need them to be. So if I want it to be 10 seconds, I can do that. But also in the Premiere Pro preferences. So if you go to Premiere settings, uh, you can open up general settings just to open up all of them. But this one's actually in the timeline settings. And you can change the still image default duration. I know it says image, but it also works for graphics to be something else, just if you always want to prefer it that way. But this is a side note in any case, just uh, some more tips for you while you're here. But we'll highlight both of these whenever we have them at the, the length and the keyframe spacing that we want. And right click 
and nest them. So highlight both, right click, and nest sequence. So now I have one sort of grouped sequence. It'll turn green. And this is what we're going to use to do the, our, our video in text effect and use that flashing that we made. So if I add a video clip or some sort of footage underneath, and I go to the effects control panel and I choose track mat key and click and apply that onto our video clip, I can choose the mat layer. So in this case, our nested sequence is on video track three, wherever yours is, you can use that. And instead of using mat alpha, which just takes the overall shape, in this case, it's a full sequence size. You're not going to see anything. We're going to choose mat luma, which looks at the brightness values or the luminance values. And because we have these alternating brightness values of black and white, we get this cool inverted flashing video and text effect that we can use. In this case, it's even making a transparency and you can use that to get pretty creative. I mean, if I added another video track underneath and remember, if you ever move any of any of these tracks around to make room for another one, you'll just have to go and change the mat to be the correct mat. Otherwise you might think, why is it not working? So if I just have a difference on the bottom layer, for example, if I blur the bottom layer, so let's just use Gaussian blur. We can use that to create an effect like this. We can even do crazy stuff like reverse the clip. So speed duration, reverse speed. And now we have, let's even turn off the blur. We can get this cool reversing blinking effect. There's a really no limit to what you can do. But if I just want to keep it black, I can, it, it doesn't matter if you have transparency grid on or off, but just to show you, I'll turn it off and we can just keep it something like this. But in any case, I'll probably make a different video about cool blurry blending effects and glowing effects. Hopefully this just gave you some ideas and some methods you can use to create something like this and doing a cool video and text flashing effect. So if you enjoyed this video, my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.